Good day to all. Welcome to Sri Krishna Stories. Let's hear what today's story is about. Duryodhana, the time of destruction is near for you. I will not take my bow and fight for you any more. Said the great justice. A simple story to explain. Let's learn more. Vidura is the brother of Dhritarashtra and Pandu which made him the uncle of Pandavas and Gauravas. Vidura's mother was a maid. Vidura is the great justice, the one who does not slip a bit from Dharma, king of Dharma, the one who is not tainted. All the great warriors except Vidura were silent when Duchadana pulled Draupadi's clothes. That's why it is a canon of dharma that all the great warriors except Vidura should die in the battlefield. Sri Krishna's plans to bring down the great warriors fighting from the side of Gauravas are not so difficult because everyone had a weakness. So, he was able to bring them down easily. But due to the above mentioned characteristics, they can't defeat Vidura. If Vidura takes the bow, they will never be able to win. When it comes to war, the Pandavas will not be able to win if like the other great warriors such as Bhishma and Drona, Vidura stands in the side of Gauravas for gratitude. The end of Mahabharata war would have been different. So, the most important person of all is Vidura. He should definitely not fight for Gauravas. Also, according to the Dharma, there is no canon of death for Vidura in the battlefield. How to prevent Vidura from fighting? Sri Krishna sets the Dharma strategy. Accordingly, to prevent the Bharat war, Sri Krishna went as a messenger for the Pandavas. When he came to know that Krishna is coming, Maharaja Dhridrashtra had arranged a warm welcome. The night before Duryodhana's visit to the council, a question arised. In whose place will Sri Krishna stay? Everyone called him. Sri Krishna replied, I am a messenger. I will accept your offerings only if my work is successful. Now, for tonight, I will go to Vidra's house and spend my leisure time, he said. It gave a great happiness to Vidra. He considered it a great privilege that his beloved Sri Krishna is going to be his guest. Krishna spent the night at Vidra's house. The next day, in state council, Sri Krishna argued for Pandavas. Duryodhana said, Even a needle-edge sized land cannot be given to the Pandavas. And he also insulted Krishna. Krishna replied, War is certain. And he returned to the Pandavas camp. On the way, Krishna's charioteer asked, Lord, for what purpose did you decide to stay at Vidra's palace? Krishna said, All is for good. Its result is going on in the Duryodhana's council. He laughed. Similarly, then everyone in Duryodhana's council begged Duryodhana to listen to Krishna and avoid war. In it, Vidra's voice rang out. Already Duryodhana hated Vidra for raising his voice when pulling Draupadi's clothes and letting Sri Krishna to stay in his house. Thus, he thought that Vidura is also in the side of Pandavas. Even now, when Vidura listened to Krishna and argued for an end to the war, Duryodhana became angry. Without thinking what he was talking about, he spoke insultingly to Vidura without a nerve in his tongue. Especially, he called Vidura the son of Dasi. Vidura was very ashamed. He enraged, shouted, which made the council to tremble. Duryodhana, 
द टाइम ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन इज नियर फॉर यू आई विल नॉट टेक माई बाव एंड फाइट फॉर यू एनी मोर एट द सेम टाइम आई विल नॉट गो टू द साइड ऑफ पांडवास आई डोंट हैव अ जॉब हियर एनी मोर ही ब्रोक हिज बाव इन टू टू वॉकड आउट ऑफ द काउंसिल He didn't return from his pilgrimage visits till the war ends. Now we can understand why Sri Krishna stayed at Vidura's home. As Krishna knew that winning against Vidura is not dharma, this is the dharma strategy he made which lead the Mahabharata victory. No one can beat dharma. Let's respect dharma. we will pass on the virtue to our generation sarvam shri krishna arpanam